Hello there and welcome back to another video from AK Prestige. Today we have here this interestingly low mileage Toyota Yaris from 2016. Now this car was last purchased by the current keeper from Toyota main dealer and with the car comes 18 months roadside assistance from Toyota. The car currently is on a service plan and this can be carried on at the purchaser's wish. This car overall is in a great condition. If you've ever seen an AK Prestige video before, you'll know that we like to take you through the good, the bad and the ugly to make sure that you know exactly what's gonna be on your driveway and just as importantly, what you're gonna be driving every day. Now, our policy is honesty here at AK Prestige, so, Let's show you what this car's about. Now to start off with, although the car does have low miles and it drives perfectly mechanically well, there are a few minor cosmetic marks on the car which are worth noting before coming down to see so that you don't have any kind of disappointment. Starting off with the alloys, three of the four alloys are slightly curved around the rim. That's the first one. And over onto the second alloy, oh sorry, the uh, second alloy with a very, very minor curbing. Over onto the full, uh, sorry, the third alloy, this one's actually okay. And finally onto the last alloy, which does have a very minor amount of curbing there. So three out of the four alloys are curbed, but all of the tires are in excellent legal condition. As well as that, you do have some very minor scratches around the car, very, very light scratches, which you may not even notice when coming down, but I wanna show you before you do come down. That one there. As well as that on the bonnet, you do have some very minor hairline scratches, but barely any stone chips. Now, the fact that there's no stone chips on this car tells me one thing. Although the car's got under 20,000 miles, it means in those 20,000 miles, it's rarely done any high motorway miles. So it has been a local car for the last five or six years that it's been alive. Now, as well as that, a couple other points to mention as we just come around the rear is around here where the scuff plate would be. You do have some very light scratching as well. And there are some very, very minor hairline scratches around the car, but otherwise it really is in excellent condition. We'll make our way inside the car in just a moment. And that's where it gets exciting because this car has a ton of features on it for easy driving, consuming, and as well as that, great technological features as well. On the roof, you have no marks whatsoever in excellent condition now let's make our way inside now just as we go inside one point to note is that this car does have full service history and the miles are warranted so that means that we prove that the miles are legitimate so as we start off here on the door card we have our electric front windows and the rear windows are manually adjusted as well as that you've got your speaker system there and you're looking for the door card. As we sit inside the car, we've got this beautiful modern looking sensor cockpit. Now, of course, this car is a hybrid, which means it's super, super economical. I'll just put on my seatbelt here so it stops beeping. Of course, with Toyota, prior, uh, safety is a priority. I forgot the key inside the office. That's why the little key symbol is coming up, but the car is turned on right now. It does have keyless go and keyless entry. Now with this car, I'm uh, sorry, it's only got keyless go, not keyless entry. With this car, we will provide two free Faraday pouches so that there is no um, risk of uh, thieves coming and signal boosting this car and taking it off. That is a gesture of goodwill from us at AK Prestige. As well as that, you can see here, you've got this power button and also electric mirrors to control your left and right mirrors. And here is to adjust the angle of the lighting. We do have this gorgeous leather multifunction steering wheel. Now I'll be honest, there's few cars I've seen at this age, which has a steering wheel as in good condition as this. Usually on 2016 cars, the steering wheels are extremely gloss from all the oils on our skin. And as well as that, they tend to have scratches up here from nails and down here, and also down here, sort of the three most common points where you touch the car. However, this steering wheel is in excellent condition. I mean, this is exactly as it came out of the factory. We know because we've sold many almost new Toyota Yaris's and other Toyotas in the past, but Overall, this multifunction steering wheel is in a lovely condition. And alongside that, you've got your cruise control, your buttons for your Bluetooth telephone, up and down volume, changing the stations or tracks and your different modes for your sources of audio. So this really is a lovely place to be as the driver. If we pan over to the left, we've got 
this large color touchscreen um, where you can control your different audio sources. You can control your car and see all of your um, information here as well. And alongside that, you've got your settings to control the vehicle also. Down here, we do have our aircon and dual climate zone control, which is a lovely, lovely feature to have in a car like this. So if we press dual, we can control the passenger side and the driver's side separately. So if you're cold and the passenger's hot, you can simply put up the temperature on yours and put down the temperature on the passenger side. So you can control and not have to argue about what the temperature is going on inside the car. I know that's often an argument that me and my fiance have. Um, alongside that, more technology to add on this car is down here you do have a usb plug-in and your 12 volt socket this 12 volt socket does come with a cover which we can put on there to tuck away so it does look nice and neat as well as that down here you've got your automatic gearbox this automatic gearbox is absolutely lovely it's a cvt hybrid gearbox so the gears work in synchro with the hybrid motor you've got your park mode reverse mode neutral drive and b and down here, you've got your electric vehicle mode. So you can put the car in EV, as you can see that I've just done there. That's what the little EV button is. And then when I press it off, it will uh, go away. Nope, it stays on there. It's staying on there currently because it's not using any petrol. If I put my foot down to get the car started, it's turned off now. So you've also got eco mode as well. Of course, this car is extremely economical to drive anyway, but you do have the eco mode and your traction control there as well. You've got the old school um, handbrake here. Sorry, that's my microfiber cloth. You've got the old school handbrake here, which, I, which is a nice feature. I mean, it's um, sure this car is quite modern. It would be nice to have an electronic handbrake, but it's nice to have, you know, um, a manual feature now and then alongside all of the electronic gizmos that comes with this super modern little hatchback. Alongside that, one point that I absolutely love about Toyotas and specifically the Yaris is just how much um, parcel shelf space you have and how much um, space you have to put your stuff in. So I'll start over from the left to right and count how many I can see. Starting over the left, you have one, two, three, four, five with the glove box. You've then got six down there, seven. Um, down here, you've got eight, nine, up here, ten. Down here, 11 in the little parcel shelf there, 12, 13. And they're just the ones I can see. I'm sure there's probably some hidden ones as well, which I'm unaware of. And someone seeing this video will know. But just from the top of my eye, I can see 13 different areas to store things like change, wires, phones, you know, cards, whatever it is, with a little bit of uh, tissues and things, sweets, chewing gum, to store in this car. So there really, really is a, it just, and you can keep, and it will still stay clean because it will all be sort of um, tucked away and hidden. So really, really nice place to be in this driver's position. Very, very happy. If I am going to be buying, Biased, uh, sorry, if I'm going to be unbiased and say some things that I don't like about this car, I may have to have a think for a second. Um, I don't like that this um, adjusting the steering wheel is manual. Um, it would be nice if that was electronic, of course. I'm being a little bit picky there. Um, and ah, I don't like that the rear windows are manual rather than electric. That would be quite nice because, of course, if you've got, for example, if you were to have a dog in the back or you had some kids in the back and you want to control their windows, that would be nice to do. Um, but, of course, you can't do that because they are manual manual so yeah they're, they're a couple of things that i don't really like about this but otherwise a really nice place to be here in the front now if i put the car in reverse with my foot on the brake we'll see that the reversing camera comes on with the guidelines which is really nice as well as that you do have sensors so you've got your sensors alongside the camera so you don't always have to um, worry about the camera only you do have the sensors to help you there as well we'll make our way over into the rear of the car of course, uh, just before we do, you've got your electric adjustable um, and automatic, uh, what do you call it, uh, window wipers and your main beams and your dipped headlights. Now, these aren't automatic headlights. That's probably the third thing I'd say that I don't like about this car is it doesn't have automatic headlights, but I'm pretty sure that almost every Yaris standard doesn't have that either. But either way, a very, very nice place to be here in the driver's cockpit. Now, let's move on to the back and see just how much space we have. Now, as a point in reference, I am a shed over six foot tall and that is my driving position. We're now gonna sit in the back and I haven't done this. This is gonna be the first time I've done it to see how much space I have in the rear. And to be honest with you, it's not that much space. I mean, I've got maybe half an inch on top of my leg room. Um, however fast to slouch, it does get less than that. Uh, but there is enough space for three, a little bit cramped. Um, I'd say three kids could fit very comfortably in there. Three adults could fit, but I wouldn't suggest it for a long journey unless they are um, very close. 
uh, to each other. But you do have your three um, seat belts and two ISO fixed points as well there, which are nice and tucked away and hidden, rather than sort of having the little plastic things there that you lose and then they look horrible after. From the rear, we can really see just how lovely this front uh, cockpit is. Extremely modern, very neat, very tidy, and overall, a nice comfortable place to be one point i didn't mention as well is these front seats are semi bucket seats so you have these bolsters here on the side which keep you tucked in so if you're nipping around a corner you're not falling off that's one point that i didn't like about the last yaris was that here on the side they were totally flat so you'd end up being pushed left to right and um, that was one sticking point that i had on the previous generation of the yaris but in this one that's something that they clearly heard and thought about and fixed now, second to last thing in this video that I'm going to show you is over into the rear in the boots. Of course, this car did come with a five year Toyota warranty, um, which is now expired. However, we will be offering a three month warranty with this car because it does have full service history. And you can discuss with Toyota because it does have full service history in reference to getting an extended warranty. That is an option. Anyway, back to the boot. As we can see, we've got quite a lot of boot space here. Um, one point to note as well is that the boot is quite low here. There is, there is a lot of space down here. There's probably additional six inches from where the lip is, which makes sense why there's scratches here because you take it out and over from the previous keeper um, but one of the reasons that it is low is that the battery um, isn't in the front actually because of the hybrid battery so the standard starter battery to get the car started isn't in the front and it's not here in the rear which is where they should have put it what they decided to do instead was put the battery under these seats now not a lot of people know that but it's good they put the battery under these seats because it means that there's more space back here in the rear so there's a little bit of general knowledge for you that you can share with your friends to let them know just how spacious this car and how sort of Toyota think about their um, cars and really thinking about the consumer when designing them. Now to put the seats forward, just tested it, you simply pull up this little hanger here and they shift straight down. If I just move that out of the way and then shift straight down and you've got some through space now you can take the seat totally off as well you can take the rear space off if you want to turn this into a little sort of van shape however even with that you still do have a ton of space in the back if i'm to put this other one down as well there you have it you've got quite a bit of space and if you really really did need extra space there is a way to unbuckle this here I'll just do that for you there as well. Of course, this may not be important to you, but it is worth showing. Um, over here, there is a way. If you stick your key in there, you can um, you can un unbuckle this and it will go straight up. Um, and one other point to mention as well is that you do have a little hanging point here when this seat is perfectly up so that you can hand things in the back. And overall, that is the rear end of the car. Now, the final thing I want to show you is the front engine bay. So I'll just clip open the engine bay there and pop inside. That little beep is just to let me know that the car's still running, even though I've left the car. And here is the engine bay, or should we say the engine and motor bay, because of course this is a hybrid car. Here you have your 1.5 litre, I believe it's 1.5 litre engine. And over here you have your hybrid drive battery overall it's a really really good condition car we do have a few cobwebs down here which is a good sign it means it hasn't been worked on <laughs> in quite a while so overall a very good sign and a very nice place to be so coming towards the end of the video if you have any questions whatsoever please be sure to let me know i'll be more than happy to help i look forward to speaking with you soon and thank you very much for watching this video my name's costa if you have any questions whatsoever please be sure to let me know. Ah, one thing I didn't mention as well, sorry, just to add on, is it does come with the original mats as well and plastic rubber mats on top. If you're the type to going in, uh, sort of going into muddy areas as well. Thank you very, very much for watching this video and I look forward to speaking with you soon. Take care, all the best. Bye-bye.